Hello everyone, it's good to have you join us today. So excited to be here again today to bring you a very, very, very juicy information making rounds this week. Once again, thank you for joining us on the Live Living TV where we bring you the best in news, entertainment, information, just gossip, education, religion, humanity, and healthy living. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. And please always ensure you leave a comment. You can also leave your criticism down there. Tell a friend to tell a friend that Elite Living TV is here to stay. Please like and subscribe. Thank you once again for joining us. So today we have a very, very interesting topic, like I said, Nanny from Hell, house made from hell. How well do you know your nanny? How well do you know that housemate of yours? That housemaid or that nanny could be someone from the pit of hell sent to destroy you or your home. That nanny or that housemaid could just be your lifesaver or your lady in shining armor. How well do you know your domestic staff? Just um, two days ago, we heard in the news that a young girl of about 15 years old by name Amaka Odeh or something like that strangled the baby put in her care, a baby of, who was a few months old. She strangled him to death. She confessed that she was a member of a secret cult and that members of the secret cult had actually told her to do that. Two months ago, precisely in Benin City as well, the mother, aged mother of the executive governor, past executive governor, um, Lucky Ignatian, his mother was killed in cold blood. The maid actually was a 25 year old, um, years old maid by name Dominion. Dominion Okoro, who hails from somewhere in Calabar, I'm told she's partly Calabar and partly Igbo, murdered the aged mother of the one-time governor of Edo State, His Excellency Lucky Ignatian. His mother, Mrs. Nomorogbe, was found in cold blood at her mansion somewhere in Jerry, Benin City, Edo State. It is pathetic that this old woman did not even die from... Um, um, aged, uh, uh, old, um, whatever, age-related ailments or sickness, but she was murdered in cold blood by someone who was placed and trusted to take care of her. This is an appeal to everyone out there. Please, if you have vulnerable people, aged parents or children who are helpless, please do not leave them unsupervised i mean these people cannot really be fully trusted take time to study them take time to know them they cannot be fully trusted it is not advisable to leave your um helpless vulnerable child just alone with your maid or your nanny i mean and then some people complain oh i don't want this is the picture of the lady this is dominion okoro 25 years old lady who used this stool in hitting the mother of the past governor of Edo State, the mother was she killed the woman, took her jewelry, took her money worth over 100,000 and her jewelry worth millions and she absconded. Luckily, members of the police force were able to obtain copies of photographs from um, the Grenadian family. So the, the, the pictures were, went into circulation and then she was trailed to Calabar where she was found and then taken back to Benin. She's currently in detention. So, my dear people, I mean, it's really confusing. The, the, the times we live in, you know, mothers have to go out there to hustle, to contribute their own quota to the family and to ensure that everyone is well taken care of. I mean, I understand the plight we are in, but I think it's best to leave your kids in perfect with professional services maybe like a crutch a recognized daycare or recognized institution leaving your baby unsupervised without a trusted member of your family i think or your aged parents 
I think it's a no, no, please. Please, the times are evil. The times are evil. You have to be proactive. Trust your instincts. You know, install CCTV camera. Do a background check. Not just um, not just medical tests. We know medical tests are compulsory. So I'm here to also advise everyone to ensure that we take the necessary precautions. For instance, like I said earlier, do not leave your child unsupervised, especially if they are going to be left, or especially if they are vulnerable, like children and aged people. Secondly, please install CCTV cameras. The need for CCTV cameras cannot be overemphasized. And then, um, never discuss your investments, your bank details, your alerts, your incomes. Guard your phones, your um, ATM cards and passwords. Trust your instincts. I mean, be on spiritual alert. You never know. You can never be too security conscious. That's just the truth. You can never be too security conscious. Please always trust your instincts. Use reliable agencies. You know, try and know someone that knows them to their roots, just in case, so that you can trace them to wherever they come from. And then excellent questions. Do background check. I said that again. Do a background check. A thorough one. Do a medical check. Um, check. Most of them come in with hepatitis and HIV. I've actually employed a nanny who had hepatitis B. I've employed one that had tested positive to HIV. So please, do your background check, your medical check. We're all doing all of those. Please. Do your spiritual check. Take her to church. Take her to your priest or your pastors. Let them pray. Let them, you know, come. Anointed, do anointed, do whatever. I mean, the times are really deadly and dangerous. You know, we have to be careful out here. Don't be too quick to trust them. Let them earn it. Keep records. This one cannot be overemphasized. Keep records. Passport photo, pictures at events. Just have a picture of them captured somewhere. And then be fair in your dealings. Be fair to them. Do the best you can. You know, treat them like humans. Let them have a sense of belonging. And then trust God. You can never be too careful. One can never be too careful these days. Please, let's be on our lot. Let's be on guard. A child was killed. A baby boy by name, Jaden, was killed in Lagos. His parents were out there hustling to put food on the table. This is a nanny who was being employed and was promised to be paid 15,000 naira monthly. She wasn't even doing this. She wasn't volunteering. You know, she was being paid. She was employed to do this. And look now, the poor baby is dead and gone, never to come back. This, I mean, you, you never can be too careful, but let's do our bit and leave the rest for God. So I would, um, I would actually um, leave um, excerpts of the video. Please don't forget, after watching the video, like and share, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments down there, and please post the link, invite friends, um, invite family, just invite anyone. You never know who this information may help. You know, this information will, could be useful to those around you, especially those who hire the services or require the services of living nanny and um, domestic maids or help whatever you call them please please pass it around pass it across send the message you may be saving a life you may be saving a soul you may be saving a home you may be saving a family thank you please watch My name is Dr. Shamaka. I live in Anambara State. So, when I am in primary school, the name of what there is one of my friend called Abere. So, when we are doing break um, break break time, so she give me biscuits and sweets. So, I take the biscuits. In the night, I find myself in one place. So they welcome me. So they welcome me. The, when I'm coming to this Lagos, they say that I should bring blood, but I say no. 
then we do it to do another thing because I don't want to share any blood. Okay. They say, okay, what did I want? I say, if I will not, I don't want to share any blood. So if I can do anything, they say, okay. They make me to make if anybody sad. Okay. So when I'm coming to this Lagos, they tell me what what did I? Do? I say that I want to come this Lagos to do nanny. They say, okay. So on. On fifth being Saturday night, they asked me that, that they want the baby I'll come to carry. I said no, that I, I will not bring the baby. They said if I don't bring the, the baby, they will strangle me. So I said no, that I don't want to bring that baby. I begged them. They didn't agree what I... So they give me bath, say that I should call that baby four times, the name four times. So when I call the baby four times, the bath turned to blood. So it's what happened. Um, let me find out for you. How old exactly are you? How old are you? I'm 15 years. In what form do they appear to you? Do they come physically, spiritually, or in what form? In speech one. Spiritually, how? Just tell us. In my dream, if I'm dream, if I'm sleeping. So where do you find yourself? I find myself in Ugoloma. Where in Anambra? Yes. Where is that? Where in Anambra? Where in Anambra? Where in Anambra? In Agolo. Yes. What's the name of the group? Ugeloma. What's the name of the group? Ugeloma. What and what do you get? Ugeloma. What do you do for this? When you have your meetings, how do you do this? What do you do? How do you go for the meeting and what do you do at the meeting? This, they have meetings. Nothing. I'm not the. Yeah, I'm the last. So I'm what, 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 what have you been doing? You know them. What have they given you to meet them? Huh? When you go to the meeting, they are not blood. No, they are not giving me any. Uh, how are you How are you doing? How are you How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, I come on in January, January 7th. January 7th. Since you joined them, since you joined them, what have you gained from them? I want to come on, but I don't know if I, if on Sunday, if I want to go to church, I will be, I, I can't walk again. They will make me to be tired and I can't walk again. On the church dismissed, I will get myself fine. Did you use anything to stop the baby? What about your parents? Sorry, what did you use on the child? What did you use to? What? what blood did not just come out. You did you use. What did you use? What did you use? What did you use? You use? No, I didn't use them. Hey, how did the baby die? They said that I, I should call the baby four times on the mirror. Okay. Yes, the what baby's the baby's name. Hope you are also a color. How were you employed to live? It's my uncle that brought me, yes. Okay, it's okay. your uncle's child? No. It's okay. How much, how much are they paying you? 